Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm finally sharing my makeup collection and storage with y'all. This used to be my most requested um, video idea by all of y'all and y'all always wanted to see my makeup or my lipstick stash and my skincare collection. So they are actually in two different spaces because I don't really have a vanity in my room. Like you can see the setup I have changed for today's video. This is my uh, other side of the room. This is my wardrobe. Uh, these are both custom made wardrobes that is actually my sister's but she's married and she doesn't stay with us anymore so uh, but this still does have a lot of her stuff so that's not really mine this particular wardrobe right here on which I'm leaning right now is my wardrobe and inside this I have my clothes and my makeup and all of that stash so I'm gonna take you all inside this wardrobe and on the other side of the room over there where I'm gonna turn you all later on is where my skincare vanity lies so that's what I'm going to show you all today. I have a very small room and most of the space is occupied by this area which is my study table. I'm not showing any focus to that right now. But because my books uh, occupy a lot of space in the room, I needed a specific study table more than I needed a vanity. So I cut down on my makeup a lot. Even though I am doing beauty YouTube videos for three years, I try to uh, keep on donating every three months whatever I feel like I'm not using or I don't get the most use out of. Or the shade is not matching me, the colors don't suit me, I don't like it that much. I keep on giving it away to people I know or like to charities and all of that. So basically, I just keep on uh, decluttering my makeup so that it always fits in these two drawers. So I'm going to quickly dive into that. This is a realistic beauty YouTuber collection. So if you're interested to see that, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this is what my wardrobe looks like. It's completely custom made. Everything has been made as per my choice and uh, my liking. I have a very minimalistic room color. It's all black, gray and white. As much as I am loud, I like the things around me to be more muted to calm me down. So everything in my room is mostly on this color palette. Uh, if you open these two doors, you can't really see very clearly but these are like where my clothes lie they are all in hanging sections i'm not putting any focus onto that because this is not really a closet tour there are two drawers right here where i'm going to change your camera position and show you all and these two drawers are where my makeup collection lies okay so inside the double doors of my wardrobe this is the hanging section where all my clothes lie and then as you go down uh, the, these are the first two drawers the entire wardrobe is custom made as per my needs i'll show you all how i fit everything in this much space so this is the first drawer that I have. Uh, this has all my face makeup right here. Uh, so everything is like divided into these plastic containers. And now since I have stopped using plastic containers, I want to stop buying them. These are what I had purchased long back. And uh, I have now started recycling these containers which come in uh, PR boxes or like these delivery boxes that we get or wedding invitations. So just random boxes. So this is not the most aesthetic collection you will find because a lot of things are stashed but it's very organized if you know uh, where what is kept. So let's start with one corner. Uh, this is where all my primers and my setting sprays are. So like you can see if I like something I have like two of them like the NYX one but if I don't like something and I feel like I'm not using it I get rid of it ASAP so that it's not clouding this space and I always feel like I know what I like what I don't like what I'm using in videos and also on my daily life so this is like my primers my two favorites Shambor and Smashbox my Revolution makeup setting spray my Soul uh, shimmering body oil this is the only thing that I have in the carton unicarton because it's a glass bottle and I'm afraid it will break the next container I have is this marble plastic uh, acrylic thing that I got again in some wedding invite and these are all my precious foundations all my favorite ones like you can see I love all of these you will always see me use all of this my Fenty one is completely over I need a refill so I've kept it so that I know I need to buy a new one this is the new sugar foundation which I've already reviewed on my channel uh, the Nykaa skin shield foundation the NYX total drop control all are absolute favorites of mine next we dive into the brushes and the blenders category so i have just one brush each for all multi-purpose uses and all my blenders the real techniques the plume and co and then on the side of the draw i have all my lashes these two are by glomia beauty this is by pro art and this is a very very dramatic lash that i have which is from uh, what is this brand 
artmatic and i use this for like my shows so this is leftover from my show um this is the elf glitter glue the miss claire shimmer dust and the kathleen lights eyeshadow which was from colourpop and the nyx eyeshadow base so deep inside the drawers i keep my tools i keep my eyelash curler my eyelash applicator uh, these are two of the touch up sponges that i have that i carry to weddings and events so if I buy anything new and I've not done a video on it and I want to do it, I keep it in this section. Uh, so all this is still in its unicarton. This is the brand Mina or Trina, I'm not sure. And I have the foundation, concealer and loose powder from their brand. So I want to test it out. So I've kept it aside. This right here is my savior. It's the pack 2 minute instant brush cleanser. Uh, which is what I use to instantly clean my brushes before I sit to film my videos. And as you move to the left is my three containers full of setting powders, bronzers, blush and highlight. In my setting powders I have the Maybelline Fit Me, the Laura Mercier, the Miniso one, the Chambord uh, setting compact and my concealers are back here, the Pack Spotlight, uh, LA Girl and I think the Wet n Wild one is also right here. Yeah, the Wet n Wild concealer. So I have four concealers. Uh, this is the Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. Next I move on to bronzers, so I have my Colourpop Rodeo Drive, the NYX Bronzer, Ofra and Savannah Colours. To my blush and highlight section which is my absolute favourite section, so I have a lot of blushes and highlights. Uh, this is the Nykaa Glow Getter Highlight, the Ofra one, uh, this is the Wet n Wild Blush which is completely shattered, uh, the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. The Revolution Shimmer Bricks, the Colourpop Tulip to Quit Blush and this is the Colour Bar, um, what is this called? Feel the Rain Duo. This is my Colourpop Super Shock Highlight, Elf Highlight, NYX Liquid Illuminator, Swiss Beauty. Uh, so basically all of my face makeup lies in this drawer. Uh, this is all for this drawer complete. All of this has been purchased by me, just FYI. None of this is PR. I don't receive that much PR. I think only the Chambord, this one and this one was PR. Uh, apart from that, I have bought everything else and that's why. And also my plume sponges are PR. Uh, that's why I don't have that much of a hoarding stack like the other beauty YouTubers. But I'm very happy with my collection because it's uh, very very self-sufficient. Let's drive into the next drawer which is my absolute favourite. You know I'm a lipstick hoarder and an eyeshadow palette hoarder. So here is where I put all my money in. This is my lipstick collection and my eyeshadow palette collection. This is a collection I'm super duper proud of and like whenever I'm depressed this is where I come okay. I'm not even kidding whenever I'm not feeling okay I sit and swatch my lipsticks and I feel a whole ton better. Uh, so I love my lipstick collection. So this entire drawer like you can see hosts a lot of stuff it has so many lipsticks it has also some eye makeup a lot of eyeshadow palettes and again some eye makeup so a lot of stuff has been stored in here i actually go brand wise in my lipsticks uh, these entire one two three four five six six containers only contain lipsticks and i go brand wise i don't go color wise because i can see every color and like just pick up as per my videos or whatever i want to use so i'll show you all how i've organized it so in every container I've kept the longer lipsticks vertically and like the shorter lipsticks horizontally at least for these two and so here I have all of my Colourpop Ultra Matte, Ultra Satin, Ultra Glossy lips, all my favourites, I have so many nudes, I have this one red lipstick from them which is called Star Crossed and this one glossy lip and rest are all nudes and on top of here I have my two MAC uh, Retro Matte lipsticks and two Lakme Primer Plus Matte lipsticks. Over here I have my Kat Von D Lolita 2, I literally have a backup for that and the Ofra uh, long lasting liquid lipstick, I don't like this that much but I have 4 minis of them because I purchased everything together for a video. Uh, the NYX Lip Lingerie and the Lime Crime liquid lipstick which also I don't like that much. Uh, this is Exotic which I love very very much. Diving into the third compartment, I've kept all the lipsticks horizontally, these are all the short ones. So these are my Nykaa Ultra Matte lipsticks which you all know I love very much. Uh, these are my Nykaa So Matte lipsticks which I don't like so much. And these are my Colourpop X Safia Nygaard collection which is my most uh, precious lipstick right now because I love her and I love the collection. And this is one Chambord uh, Loner lipstick I have. So the fourth compartment here hosts some of my favourite lipsticks. This is firstly having the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick which are my absolute favourite. 
Then there are the Huda liquid mats, which are also my favorites. I have cheerleader, spice girl, and a bows in Smashbox and disorderly. Then I've got my Smashbox bullet lipsticks, which are also my favorite. This is the ombre collection, the red ombre, and this is one mini and uh, the regular size bullet lipstick, which are also my favorite formulas. And I also have the disguise cosmetics lipstick because I just have one and the Iba Halal, and these two also I really really like. So this is like one of my favorite sections. Coming on to this one, this is my most used section. So this is why I keep it right in the front. I use a lot of these lipsticks on the daily basis. This is the Color Bar uh, Hot Latte, the Lacme Forever Matte uh, in the shade New Dream. My Maybelline Sensational Mattes are right here. The Body Shop Lip Crayon, uh, Lip Cream, and uh, the NYX Copenhagen SMLC, which I've loved so much. My Wet n Wild Missy and Fierce, my Color Bar lipsticks. This is like my accessible ones. There, are, there's some behind. Also, this is the Nykaa Molten Matte. Thoda niche rakha hai because I don't use it that much. But jo bhi I use, I've kept upar only because I use this the most. Diving onto these, these are more of the neglected section I would like to say because I don't use these that much. Or uh, this I have kept in one of the Sugar Cosmetics ka dabba aya tha jo uh, shopping karne ke baad. Now I've started using these like I said. So I've stored them all in this container. This is the Lakme 9 to 5 um, lip and cheek tint. Most of which are over. I need to repurchase them. Uh, this is the Lakme Masaba Crayon. The Shambor Ever Extreme Matte Liquid Lipstick. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick. I don't use, I don't like. Uh, the Faces uh, lipstick I like a lot. The Nykaa Lip Crayon in Real Deal. I don't know where my Jade Rose is. And uh, this is one Loner Lakme lipstick, one Nykaa lipstick and one Faces Crayon. The Etude House Dear Darling Lip Tint. Uh, these are some Insight Cosmetics lipstick and this is I think my Mini So yeah. So this is more of my I don't use these that much but I still have them. A uh, collection which I will need for videos or like I can use, I still do use some of them. Uh, but yeah, it's mostly neglected. Diving onto the last section over here contains all my lip liners, lip uh, eyeliners, kajal, eyebrow pencil, all my pencils basically. Uh, I've kept my L'Oreal gel eyeliner pot also over here. My new sugar lip pencil is here. My Euro Paris lash glue which I love so much. So everything is basically here when it comes to pencils. Going above in the drawer, I have in this one corner one little tiny mirror because if I'm standing and doing my makeup here and I have some uh, crayon sharpeners and all my eyeshadow palettes are here. The Morphe palette right at the back over here. The e.l.f. Uh, Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. The Smoky palette by Sivana Colors. This is the Nykaa Crushed Berries. This is my dose of colors. I'll, I'll show you all the inside of this. You'll always tell me that it's crushed. So this blue shade is crushed but it's a beautiful gorgeous palette. I love it very much. Uh, this is my Jaclyn Hill, my Essentials. My first big time investment into makeup was this palette. Uh, this is my new Morphe X Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette. Uh, this is my most used and most travelled with eyeshadow palette. That's the Colourpop Yes Please eyeshadow palette. This is the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals. Also one of my first eyeshadow palettes back when I started making videos. So these are all my eyeshadow palettes. My very very prized possession because I love doing eye tutorials. This is the final section in this drawer which hosts all of my mascaras. Like you can see I have two of each because I love them. I just have three main mascaras which is the Essence Lash Princess, the L'Oreal Voluminous and the Colourpop BFF Mascara. This is in red and this is in blue. And uh, I have doubles of everything because I, I literally stock up on my mascaras. Uh, this is the NYX Worth the Hype Mascara and the Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes. This is Lights Camera Lashes, the mini variant. So this is like my glittery section. I have two Colourpop Supernova shadows, Stila Glitter and Glow shadow and Swiss Beauty Liquid Eye shadow and some Miss Claire uh, glitter eyeliners. So this basically completes the entire drawer and also completes my makeup section. This is my favourite drawer in the entire world, universe wardrobe everything and this completes my makeup section okay so now that we've completed that section of my wardrobe and you all saw my makeup storage and collection diving into this section which is my skincare collection this is not really a vanity it used to be two side tables two separate side tables which i combined and 
layered one on top of the other because we changed the position of the bed in my room and so now this is a chest of four drawers from which only the first drawer has skincare so I will take you all with me and show you all what all I have and how I have stored my skincare so this is basically what the top of the chest of drawers looks like or uh, this is a painting I made in 2016 it's my first canvas painting and it says in the end we only regret the chances we didn't take and I strongly believe that even today I love the color element it adds to my very white and black room then I have these two cute doggies uh, it's actually a salt and pepper shaker but I love them over here this is what I'm currently using in the perfume section whatever I don't use currently it's kept in my sister's wardrobe which I showed you all uh, this is the Calvin Klein into you perfume that I'm using right now uh, on a daily basis basically this is the Nivea whitening deodorant and this is the studio west uh, deodorant it's the urban spirit one and then in front I have this beautiful photo of my best friends and I uh, this is from Tamana's sister's wedding uh, Sangeet this was actually the Sangeet night it's one of my favorite photos of us so I've framed it in this white frame and kept it right here in the front uh, this is a Dior travel size makeup kit that was actually gifted uh, to my sister and it's not very like I'll show you all what is inside this it's not very user friendly uh, the makeup is not that great and so I never see myself using it so just for like a showpiece I've kept it over here and this is a lamp I got from Ikea it's one of their most common lamps uh, at the side over here we have this corner uh, which is separating over here so I've kept some of the bigger bottles that don't fit in the drawers this is the St. Ives body lotion my Dabar Amla hair oil my Vaseline petroleum jelly and my Schwarzkopf hairspray so some some of the bigger bottles that will not fit into these drawers are kept there. Now let's dive into the drawers. Like I said, every furniture piece in this room is custom made. Uh, diving first into this drawer over here, which is all of my skincare. This is the only skincare drawer that I have. And over here, I have not uh, divided anything in plastic containers or any shelving as such. It's a small drawer and they are all vertical bottles. So they very well self-contain themselves. Unlike makeup, a lot of skincare has been sent to me, like the Pixie skincare over here and the Banish skincare. This is all sent to me rest apart from that everything I have purchased myself starting with my favorite sunscreen of all time this is the Neutrogena ultra sheer dry touch sunblock I have three of these uh, so like you can see I love this one I have tried many sunscreens and this is my favorite one these are my Sebamed moisturizers which I love so much this is the clear face care gel it's my sixth or seventh tube of this and the moisturizing cream this is the body shop seaweed oil balancing toner I like this one also very much these are two of my serums both are the same thing uh, if I like something I keep buying backups you know I'm always scared that if they'll stop making it so I just keep many many backups like you can see uh, this is the matrix biolage avocado smooth serum it really tames my frizz and so I like it a lot uh, this is the Kama Ayurveda rose water spray you all know I love this stuff this is my uh, holy grail which you all most of you all have come to my channel with this video the body shop tea tree anti-imperfection daily solution it's my third bottle of this I do love it I still do use it this one is also almost over there's like very little left this is the Banish All Clear Mint Cleanser. Banish actually send me their entire kit. This is their Vitamin C Beauty Elixir. I like this one a lot. This is one of my favorite Pixie products. It's the Glow Tonic Serum. I love this stuff so much. Apart from their toner, this is my favorite and highly recommend. This is my Ordinary AHA BHA Peeling Solution. Once again, highly recommend. This is my Lactocalamine Oil Balancing um, whatever this is basically daily face care lotion this is what I use when I have more sensitive days and I can't afford to use uh, sunscreen proper sunscreen I use lactocalamine because sunscreen does have a little bit of silicone which can clog your pores and give you acne so then I prefer my lactocalamine on those days this is my VLCC rose water toner and then over here I've just shoved this uh, moms and co eye cream that I've been using currently not seen much of a difference in my under eyes after that so I've not really spoken much about this on my channel and this is the baby lips x alia bhat which i do not like at all it's so pigmented it's more pigmented than my lipstick this is the argan deluxe curling cream argan oil curl defining cream really really good stuff you get it on nika you get it on amazon and you also get this in stores you should try this if you have curly hair this is the banish vitamin c cream so i just keep it here so back here i keep some samples that i currently use this is all from us so this is the curl smith scalp stimulator 
hydrating booster and uh, back over here I also have this Vela of hair mask that I want to use. Then I have this Eclat Superior Vitamin C Serum which is very expensive and my uh, dermat actually recommended this to me but I don't like it at all so I don't use it so much. This is the only hand cream I own. Uh, it's the paraffin one from Bath & Body Works so if I want to give myself a a manicure at home, this is what I use, uh, which I've been doing lately because of course we can't go to the salon now because of the lockdown. Then back over here, I have all my pixie lotions and my pixie serums. These are, this is the vitamin C lotion, the phenomenal gel and the caviar balm. All these three are my favorites. I can't really choose. And I have two of my toners. Of course, I love the glow tonic much more because pura khatam hai glow tonic. It's over. And the vitamin C tonic is okay. It's not that bad. Uh, but it's not really great either. Then I have this small body lotion from Bath & Body Works. The one in a million is one of my favorite fragrances from their ranges. This is the Nutriderm Moisturizing Lotion, the Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion. This is a Pixie Vitamin C Juice Cleanser. I don't get much use out of this but I've kept it. It's good for removing makeup. And this is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, of course my holy grail. Uh, this is the new L'Oreal Revitalift which I've been loving a lot lately. The, for this weather it's perfect. And this was also PR, but I use this a lot. It's all kitna khatam ho chuka hai almost. Yeah, I've used like quite a lot of this. You just need a little bit, but it's very refreshing. Then in the middle over here, I have the Vaseline uh, Coco Glow Moisturizing Cream, which I showed in my Nika haul lately. And the uh, Jeju Aloe Vera Gel by Face Shop, uh, which I rave about so much. So the big tubs, I've kept them right in the center over here. This is one of my favorite lip scrubs. This is the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Lip Scrub. So this completes my very extensive skincare range. I have not sectioned it in any way. I use all of this a lot. If I don't use it, I give it to my mom or my sister because of course everybody's a skincare fan in the family. So yeah, I try not to hoard and outdo. This is the limit. Like if you're outdoing this drawer, then you need to get rid of stuff. That's what I tell myself. And that's how I function. Okay, how much can I use? I just have one face. Okay you guys, so we are done here. This was my makeup collection and skincare collection and storage. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a very realistic collection, very small in size, not that much. I know this might still seem a lot to a lot of y'all because uh, of course this is not what a basic girl needs but I do this also as a job. I do YouTube as a full, like a proper job job and so I need that much variety in my makeup to be able to review and recommend to you guys that's why I keep my makeup collection this extensive but I don't try to exceed it because I don't have space for more stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed if you did then don't forget to hit the like button down below comment below and let me know what other videos you want to see especially in this quarantine phase where I really can't shop for more makeup and do like reviews and stuff I need to limit my content to what I have right now with me I hope you guys liked it nevertheless please don't forget to subscribe and join this family if you're new here and I will see you in my next video bye guys love you all